mid-June here in gold country and that means it's time to start looking for gold. So today I'm going to show you how you can practice at home before you go down to the river. So to get started let's look and see what you need to pan for gold in your own backyard. Alright so here's an overview of the gear that you'll need to pan for gold at home. There's not much to it. You'll need a pan I like a 14 inch with two sets of riffles, big ones for the beginning and then smaller ones when you're down your, to your fine sand. Some kind of tub to hold the water you're going to be panning in. A comfortable chair. A special bottle called a sniffer. This is what you use to suck the gold and black sand out of the bottom of your pan in order to separate it from the other dirt. A scoop to get your dirt your pay dirt out of the dirt, out of your bucket and into the pan. And you'll also need dirt. This dirt came from a nearby river where I pan and that's where and so I know there's gold in here. You can also buy bags of pay dirt online. They usually are salted with a little bit of extra gold dust so that way the person selling it knows that there's good material in there. So now I'm going to get everything set up right here and I'm going to teach you how to pan for gold in your own backyard. Now to get started panning, you're going to get a scoop of dirt and put it in your pan. Now this is about as much dirt as you want to have in one pan. It's a little over a cup. That's about how big this scoop is and it's good to get you started. So, in order to actually start panning, you just have to dip your pan in the water, cover that dirt that's in there, reach in, and knead it up really good to get all that excess dirt, to break up the dirt clumps, and get that excess organic matter out of there. You see how the water's turning, turning brown now as I stir this up. Then, pour off a little bit of the water, give it, the pan a good shake, and what you're doing when you're doing this is you're actually moving, get some of that water out of there, you're moving the gravel around and you're forcing all that gold to sink to the bottom of the pan where it'll stop because it's heavier than anything else that's in that pan. So I'm going to do that again. Now one last time, I'm going to stir this around a good bit. Kind of shake the dirt all the way down to the bottom side of the pan and then just dip it in and pull it out and it'll pull all these rocks and this lighter material out. Again, you, every once so often get a little bit more water in there, give it a good stir to get that gold back down to the very bottom, give it a little shift and just keep pulling it out. Now this is the point where you're going to want to start being careful. First you can reach in if you've got any little rocks like that left. Reach in and kind of pick them out, pick them aside. Just drop them into your bucket. Now this is where these thin riffles or these smaller riffles come in. You're going to shake all your gold, shake all your dirt into the other side. Other side of the pan. Pour off some of that water, and now you're going to gently dip the pan in and out of the water, give it a little shake back and forth to help the dirt move this way towards the edge of the pan. You see all these blonde sands coming off, but all the black sand staying up here and in these first couple of riffles. Just dip it in and out of the water, just like this. Give it a little shake now and then. Now you've got all your black sand and your heavier blondes. Rinse them back into the pan. You can see all that gold right in here. Now what you want to do at this point, you can already see you've washed, have washed most of the black sand away from the gold. You want to just keep swirling your pan 
really gently washing that lighter black sand away from the gold and you'll see the gold flakes move but once they've got that black sand washed off they stick like this right in here they stick to the bottom of the pan because they're the heaviest thing there as long as you're gentle once you get that black sand away and it kind of starts to curl back around to where you started give it a little rinse away get that stuff out of there oh, there's even a little speck in there right there so I use the riffles and then go back to swirling and even once in a while because your gold starts to wrap around shake it back to the side rinse it back with some water out of the bucket if you need to give it a good shake around to get it sunk down to the bottom of the pan Pour off the excess water, so you've just got a couple of tablespoons in there, and swirl it, keep swirling. Just like this. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the rest of this back black sand cleaned off of this, and I'll show you how much gold I found. All right, now you all know that I've gotten all the black sand washed away from the gold. You can see all the gold that's in that pan. Now let me just give it a little shake, spread it out a little bit. See how it's spread out there? Now, all you have to do is take your sniffer bottle, give it a little squeeze to squeeze the air out, and suck that gold right into your bottle. Well, everyone, that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed it. Now don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and of course, hit that subscribe button.